Hello Capricorns, it is time for your mid-May to June 2019 reading. Yay, I actually remember the fucking number. Good for me. How you doing, Caps? As you get yours, Aquarius, and Pisces done, and then I am done for like two weeks or some shit. Tell you what, fucking... Mercury going retro, it always makes me want to do readings more. It makes me much more positive. Much more precocious. Don't know why. Uh, I hope y'all aren't feeling too bad with the retrograde. It's a draining experience for sure. But we get past it. I'm going to see what's going on with y'all. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if you if this resonates with you sorry I just woke up from a nap good deal if not don't worry about it it's actually rather cold in here, in here still and if you want a personal reading uh, my email is down below I don't really charge for them I do take tips and donations so just do whatever King of Wands in ya. Power, control, prestige, being able to make choices, take action. What you're wanting and wishing for is a Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Then we have what you're afraid of, Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, whatever. Five of Cups in the situation. Some of these cups got knocked over, but they still got two sitting there. What's going against you in the challenges and obstacles is the fool, traditionally, or the sacred clown, right here. Taking a leap of faith. Hmm. Taking a leap of faith and showing your wounds off to this king of wands. In a situation where some cups were spilt. There's a fear of love. Hmm. Nine of Wands as the catalyst as well as the final result, the beginning and the end. With the beginning theme being Princess of Wands, impulsivity. Journeying, taking adventures, taking risks, having fun. It's about time, isn't it? We need that shit. Yeah, yeah we've been a little bit insecure with our stuff or whatever, but I think we're going to have a chill time, Caps. We got the King of Wands right here. Yeah. Almost. He's got his power, his prestige. He's controlling his wand. He's setting everything on fire. Justifiably so. He's not doing anything that's crazy, right? That's always a good sign. Could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. shit on his mind that's really bothering him. Really bugging him. Could be your neighborhood Leo since I always associate that. Doesn't have to be. Five of Cups right here. Some Cups got knocked over but they're still too upright. Dealing with this King of Wands once again. He might be good with kids. Hmm. Some of you might be dealing with Leo for sure, or just this fire sign. Or something that makes you feel like you can't take action because of anxiety, and you feel like there isn't much you can accomplish after all of something that went wrong happened, I feel like. Some of, my, you, some of you might be bothered by that right now. We got the Prince of Swords and your wants and wishes. Someone wanting to approach. Extend their hand out. Um, speak and talk about um, what's gone on with them. However, there is dynamite at his feet. But I don't think it's active. Like, he's not going to explode if he talks. A lot of fighting involved with this person. It could be an air sign who um, is coming in possibly damaged. I don't know if they're looking for an argument that's going to lead away from the goalpost or if that's their intention, but it's like they're coming in to fight for whatever. I don't know if they're bashing these people in order to be the 
survivor in order to get to that gold post or if they're all fighting amongst each other and who's going to get the touch at first I really don't know but it's going to instigate like some conflict it might be some pettiness involved right and someone doesn't know what to do so they are keeping their guard up they are being vigilant while they're waiting for this burden to be released so they can start something new possibly dealing with Scorpio right here right or someone with Scorpio in their chart the fool or the sacred clown in what's going against you is a leap of faith possibly a new journey or a new beginning we've all been getting new beginnings actually the ace of cups up there Oot. hmm There's an emperor involved. Possibly an Aries. Could be this who this fire sign is, right? Um, someone's afraid to take a leave of faith with him, or they're afraid he's going to stifle him when it comes to taking this leap of faith. Maybe that's what the anxiety is all about. If it's this fire sign going through here, um, but someone is either afraid of or rejecting an ace of cups from a queen of swords libra's card also gemini or aquarius someone who's very grounded oh my god really are you better now okay well you're kind of crooked Okay, that's better. Not as crooked. Either you're afraid of getting love from like an air sign or you're rejecting love from an air sign or maybe you're afraid that their love is going to be cutting and to the point. Something like that. Maybe you have anxiety about what this fire sign thinks about starting this new journey that he might stifle with this queen of swords. Hmm. This nine of wands right here. Putting your wands out to guard you, to protect you in a sacred circle thing. So no one, nothing can come in without getting zapped. That bird is about to go splat that that. Brat, brat. You know, he totally, or is that's a hand. That's a hand. Like corruption. Using those sticks to beat it back, right? Definitely trying to work on it, get skills together. Might even be calling some, like, ancestors in to help craft things behind the scenes. The three of pentacles. And then we have the ending thing, which is someone restricting themselves from that impulsivity to take action, for letting something happen. They're keeping themselves from it. Could be Leo. There's a lot of fire in this one for you, Capricorn. So that's quite interesting. Let's see what the three advices are with all of this. Hmm. Okay, we got Page of Swords here. Somebody's snooping for very um, wrong reasons or spreading gossip of some sort that's very bad. Could be this air sign over here, but she's got her back to it. She's looking like a queen. However, this dude is also wearing red. This might even be the same person. Usually everybody in red is the same person. Yeah, like if the queen is in red, this little piggy thing's in red too, and that's getting stepped on by this emperor, and I really feel like this emperor would be the one to squash this new adventure. Um... <clears throat> Mainly because somebody would be very much paying attention to their own feelings rather than somebody else's. Um, Scorpio Cancer, a Pisces in this case, right? He's in purple and blue, so I don't know.
Someone's looking for a reason to stay. When it comes to things probably working out despite the guard being up and this Queen of Swords with her with this new beginning. This uh Ace of Cups. This right here is based on ego, this King of Cups. <coughs> Looking at this page of swords, like the page of swords is a mature. This is a mature woman. So I don't know if this king of cups is looking at this page of swords as an issue, which is one to plague the mind with, like an infection. That cowl just covers their head and makes them feel ugh, inside. It also looks like this Queen of Swords might try to sneak in behind this King of Cups back. While well, they're all focused on themselves. I have no idea what to make of this Capricorn, but um... This is a very strange person. That's going to be the title of your video. You're dealing with a very strange person. In very strange circumstances. Which I'm not sure I quite grasp. It's like someone's expecting conflict with this Knight of Swords coming in. Like it's going to start something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Um, you know, like, share, whatever it is you do. I will see you guys later, or like two weeks from now or some shit, right? See you later, bye-byes.